Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord bless you so much. My name is Clovis Asobi and welcome to this channel, Atmosphere of Prophecy, Word and Prayer. Especially if you're new here, thank you for stopping by. I don't want you to go. God has a word for you. For those of you that have been here all through, you have my love. Thank you so much for joining us here in the Word of God always. Let's pray. Family, as we lift our hearts to the Lord and we pray, may the God of heaven bless you with every good thing you need in life. May the Spirit minister to you mightily and may His voice be amazing to you. Today is your day. In Jesus' name, Amen. I have this word. The Lord says, even though he cannot see, his faith had eyes. You know, I was reading the scripture and the Lord brought this to my spirit about a man that was blind, a born blind man who had no eyes to see Jesus. And Jesus was passing. He heard Jesus was passing. And he screamed with a loud voice, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And the moment he screamed, and they try to interrogate and stop him. He screamed up louder. And Jesus heard and stood still and turned and said, Call him to come. Bring that man to me. This is to somebody. You must do the right thing. Connect your faith with God. The man could not see, but his faith had eyes. Faith hears. Faith sees. And this is also to you to tell you that there is still hope for something. Even though the man could not see, he still had the opportunity to speak. Even though the man was being disturbed from, you know, the ability to hear and speak. So the enemy could not stop him. Even though he was blind, the enemy could not stop his mouth. So he spoke, which means within you, there is still something that you can do that can provoke the move of God. There's still something within you. The fact that you're alive, you still have hope. The fact that this business closed, look again. Maybe there's a mouth to speak. Maybe there's an ear to hear. The man could not see. He didn't give up there. Other blind people just sit there and condemn themselves all through. Some will sit there and beg all through. But the man says, I even though I could not see, I can't see, but my mouth will speak. I cry. He cried out. And Jesus stood still. You can still do something. The situation is so bad, you can still do something. The condition is critical. You can still do something. Cry out. Cry out. Your faith can still connect you. It could link you again to the master. And the situation will turn around. If you can sit down and meditate and say, how do I come out of this? This way that you have focused your eyes and you have tried to do it is not going what about trying it this other way? Because there is still a way somewhere that you can get there. And I know that today the Lord will reveal that to you. It's just beside you. It's just within you. It's just around you. The problem is you are focused on just one part. I cannot see. But can you hear? Did you hear the Savior? Can you speak? Can you cry out? Everything you can do to come out of it. The Lord says he has deposited the solution in you. It's time for you to look within and cry. May the Spirit open your eyes. May the Spirit speak to you in a genuine way. In Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you safe. Thank you for stopping by. Please subscribe to this channel and give it a like on the video so that we can pray together again. Shalom.